Hey people, this video is going to be on how to make tuna salad if you were a single guy and you don't know what in the world you're doing. So I just made a video on how to boil hard boiled eggs. How to make hard boiled eggs. I guess you don't boil boiling. So how to make hard boiled eggs and the video probably went for uh, 45 minutes. I don't know. So uh, you want to clean off this can because there's lots of germs that you get in the store. And the best way to clean it off is just to rub your germs on the top of it and then you will be okay. So I'm going to open up this can. This can is huge. This is three pounds. This is massive. I don't know. I don't. If you watched my video on uh, how to do the eggs, <coughs> I talked about how they're going to be uh, fumigating this place for termites. So I threw out everything I had. I didn't throw out everything, but a lot of it. I really don't have. Uh, <coughs> sorry about the coughing. I just went, took the dog for a walk, and it's really dry in here. So, uh, I don't know if I've got a container that will hold three pounds of tuna plus eggs. I boiled ten eggs. Um, let me get the eggs out of the sink right now, and then we will continue with the video. So everything's going along pretty good. Um, let's get these eggs out of the way. Oh, boy. Oh! All right. Yeah, I'm a professional chef. Not. I'm going to get this pan out of the way right now. That you just uh, maybe watch me boil eggs in. We'll get that out of the way. And now, the reason I'm going to do this tuna first is because I don't know if I have a big enough container for three pounds. And if I don't, then I'm going to have to uh, do this, split it up somehow. Wow. So you want to, uh, can you see that in the video? I don't know if you can see it. Oh my god. I'm just not ready for this. It's overwhelming. Hoo, 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 hoo. So you want to take the can of tuna. I bought this in al uh, albacore. Al white albacore tuna. I guess albacore is white. And I did it in, uh, I bought it in water, not oil. Oil is just, I don't know if it's oil. Oil is worse for you or healthier. Or, I don't know, but it's just nasty. So, you want to drain all the... You're draining the water with water. Okay, the dog's in here. I talked about her, my rescue dog, in the uh, video that I did on the eggs. So if you're interested in that, she's all interested. Okay, you can't be it now. Uh, she's going to sit right behind me and watch me do this. She's just hoping I'm going to drop some tuna on the ground. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to fit in here. Will this fit in here? Oh, boy. Don't cut yourself with the, with the... Ow! Whoa, that was close. Don't cut yourself with the top of the can. You don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to try to get all the tuna out of there. I should use a utensil, but... I don't know, but I have to shut off the camera and I have to dry my hands. So get all the tuna out of there. Get as much tuna out of there as you can. But don't cut your fingers on the edge of the can. So that looks pretty good. So what I've got now, I'm going to go reposition the camera so that you can watch me make my first tuna salad. And that makes me an expert and we'll see what happens. So let's go reposition the camera and yeah that's that's enough room. Alright so this was the egg that I just oh no that I just uh, made and I'm gonna go peel the other eggs I am very impressed if you didn't see my video First time boiling an egg, not boiling an egg, first time making hard boiled eggs, and they're just peeling so nicely. All right, let me move this out of the way so you can watch me peel eggs. Um, like I said in my other video, the average view on a YouTube video is about three and a half minutes. My average video is about half an hour or so. I'm sure nobody's watching this, but that's okay. So that is a beautiful egg. Bang this on the sink. 
they are really nice. They're peeling absolutely perfectly. And like I said in the egg video, I have always been the person who peels the eggs for other people, for the people that make them. And they always, it, the egg just falls apart. It never, the shell never comes off easily or perfectly. And it is with it, with this, so this is pretty neat. I'm happy. Um, remember, you never want to... Oh, boy. What, what in the world was I thinking? You never want to put eggshells in a disposal. Ever. Ugh. I got a strainer on the sink, so it's okay. You never want to put eggshells down a disposal. A uh, good way to... It's not going to ruin the blades, but it's not, good that, it's not good for them. And I know I live in Los Angeles, I, in California, I shouldn't really be running this water. Because we were having a drought, and we weren't having a drought. And when the, the dog's right behind me. When the, let me turn this thing. When the drought ended, when the drought ended, I said, the state is not going to be smart. Because what do people do when a drought ends? They say, go out and waste water and water your lawns. Well, they, they let people water their lawn anyway. You know, if you are starving for food, you don't throw food down the drain. And if you're having a drought, you don't tell people that they can water their lawn one day a week. It's ridiculous. But that's what they do. That's just how politicians think. They don't want to anger everybody, so go go waste only some water, not all the water. Okay, this one's kind of sticking a little bit. This is sticking a lot. Um, let's see what it, if it tears the egg apart. So, uh, we had the drought, and then the drought ended. We told people, go back and water your lawns, and wash your cars, and do what you need to do. We have a lot of water, and we do have a, we have a, a nice supply of water, and we have a nice storage. But that's the thing about droughts. You tell people you don't have to tell people they shouldn't waste water, but you shouldn't say you don't have to find people, but you should say don't waste water, don't water your lawn every day, don't water your lawn every week. Water it once a week, we'd be happy. We're not going to punish you if you don't, but the minute you come out and say, yeah, we got a lot of water, go out and waste it. We're not going to be upset. And then you have a, a bad rain season. Oops. So I've got a... Everything is a, is a video. Everything is a video here. Um, doing a video on how to boil eggs, how to make tuna salad. I Got my camera plugged into a power strip, made a video review of that. Oops, what the heck am I doing? Um, I uh, used heat resistant gloves to move the pan of water. Made a video review about that. In the back of this video, I've got a. Ow, that eggshell hurt. I have a uh, oral irrigator for when you need to orally irrigate and it's really good. It's very nice. Use it every night. And I did a video review on that. What else am I looking around that I can do uh, that I did reviews on? I've got the uh, dog shampoo next to me. I did a review on that. What else is in my view? Got my watch over there. I did a review on the watch and did another review on how to put on a watch band. Okay, so I'm going to rinse off the eggs now, get off all the eggshells, and then we are almost at the point of making our review. I mean, what am I saying, review? Everything is a review. We're almost at the point where we are going to do the eggs. I'm going to cut up the eggs, and I, I don't know if I have too much or too little. Uh, probably too much, but that's okay. Oh, boy. So... You could do this with a knife, but it would be a nightmare. It would be a knife mirror. And I've got this... I don't even know where... Somebody gave this to me. Maybe I bought this for a dollar. It's so cheap, but it's working. I, as I said, I don't use eggs that much, but... For some reason, 
I was at the big uh, the big C and I bought five dozen eggs and I thought what the heck am I doing I think I'm close to expiration date on that I could look at the envelope at the package but eh. okay so what you want to do is you want to take your three pounds of tuna I don't even know if I need ten eggs it's gonna be very eggy three pound can of tuna we're gonna do ten eggs the dog is just sitting there waiting for food. Poor girl. Sorry. She, I gave her some uh, egg earlier in the week. I might give her some tuna. She can handle tuna, I think. You just have to be careful because tuna's got a lot of mercury. And you got to be careful with eggs because it's got cholesterol. And you really want your dog to be and you, your own body, you want you want to eat healthy as best as you can. And believe me, I feed her really healthy food, expensive food. I spent $185 at the dog store for her food and a couple toys. So cut up your eggs, three pounds of uh, tuna. Chop up your eggs, however you want to do that. And, ooh. Then after that, this is only for, this video is for bachelors only. Uh, women already know how to cook, so women do not need to know how to make a tuna salad. They already know how to make tuna. But a man always needs tuna. So we've got the 10 eggs in there. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to clean this thing off. Like I said, nobody's watching. They've already shut this off after the first three minutes. And when you're making food, you really want to have a big container. It's one thing all of us should have learned, but we haven't learned. When you're making food, you want a big container so you can mix it up and turn it around. This is not big enough. This is, this is a disaster. Um, I'm going to take this and hand it over to the dog. There you go. She's got a little bit of egg. She'll be happy. So what do you put in tuna? You put in uh, relish. Again, I was at that big store and we bought a ton of, we bought the mixture of relish and ketchup and mustard. And I normally eat just tuna out of a can, but when you throw relish in there, boy, does it make a difference. So I don't know if that's enough or too much or too little. And what else would you put in there? Okay, no more. Go out. Put in relish and you put in mayo. Now, I don't like to use mayo because mayo is really more eggs and it's fat. It's just not good for you. Loaded with calories and it's not good for you. But, oh boy, three pounds of tuna. I can't eat three pounds of plain tuna. I get sick. So I don't know. That's probably way too much, but let's put in another three heaping teaspoons of mayo, and I'm just going to mix it up. I don't know what else would go in there. Tuna and mayo and eggs, and now you can see what I'm talking about. If I had a big enough bowl, I'd be able to make all of this and mix it the right way, but I can't really do that because I don't have a big enough bowl over here. Um, it would be nice to have a, a big cover. I could just turn this thing upside down and mix it, mix it and shake it up. But it's starting. It looks, it looks a lot better. When my mom makes tuna, I don't know what she does. I've never asked her, but she, it's kind of like, she must mash it or something because there, when with tuna to me, that's tuna. And her tuna is like a real, real tuna salad. It's all mashed down. And I don't like it as much as I like to see the tuna. But, again, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to mix this thing up. Yeah, I guess i got to really break up this tuna because three pounds of canned tuna, it's all stuck together. And I'm going to shut off the video now. I'll be back in a few minutes. I was saying, my mom kind of gets it mashed, kind of like what you see in the uh, in a bakery, they, or not a bakery, in a deli. They, 
I just don't know what they do. I have no idea. But you don't see the pieces of tuna like this. They Maybe they just break it down because it looks like a spread, almost like a spread. This looks a little dry. I would love to have some pickle juice. And that's really why you're using relish to give it some moisture. But I don't have any pickle juice. And I'm going to add a little more. This looks really good. I don't know if it's going to taste good. But it looks just amazing. Add a little more. Yeah, let me put a little more in there. Because that really gives it the taste. At least to me it gives it a real nice taste. You've got the, uh, the sweetness of the relish. And it also gives it some moisture. But this container is so huge. And I don't have enough room to really mix it up the way I'd like to. I know sometimes people put in mustard. I believe they put in mustard into a tuna. Or maybe they just do that on the sandwich. Uh, a little bit more mayo. Do I have a spoon? So, hey, make sure you watch all my videos. My videos are awesome, kind of like this one. And uh, you can learn a lot from them. This one, you, everyone's learning. Every single guy is learning how to make tuna. This is way too much. This is just not a healthy meal. Five spoons of mayo and ten eggs. All of that for three pounds of tuna. So the tuna does have kind of mercury in it, but at least it's healthy or healthier. And then you throw in 10 eggs and the relish is okay. Might have a little bit of sweetness, some sugar in there. But you throw in the 10 eggs and the mayo and now you're looking at a, uh, probably not the best thing in the world for your heart or your arteries. And I'm having a hard time mixing at the bottom. So I've got enough of the stuff that if I need to, I can make more. But what I want to do, I don't have any bread here. I left the bread somewhere else. Um, what I want to do is I want to give it a taste and let you know what I think of this. Let you know if I have three pounds or four pounds of, with the eggs, four pounds of stuff that's nasty or what I think of it. So it's kind of mixed up. Um, let me take a taste. Um, a little dry, a lot dry. You know, it's not too bad. But I don't taste the egg because there's so much tuna in here. And I definitely do not taste the relish. Whoa. What do I have? Half a bottle of relish in this thing now? Yikes. So let's mix this up a little bit more. My neighbors are walking past my window. They're going to think that I'm doing a cooking show. Um, yeah, way too much tuna. I don't know if I'll do this again. The can of tuna, it's so cheap when you buy this at the store. When you buy it at a store, it's not cheap. Buy it. No, don't come in here. You buy this at one of those big box stores. And this massive amount of tuna, I think I bought this can for $9 or something, which is nothing. All right, I'm not going to be able to really mix the bottom. I just want to get in here and taste it again, and then I'll finish off the video. So remember to do the thumbs up, to subscribe, to like. If you have something you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will do it. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. Got a little bit of relish over here, not too much egg, but I wouldn't want to put any more egg in here. And so we've got the, uh, the relish and the egg, and the tuna, and the mayo. Mmm... Oh my God, that's delicious. Mmm. That is very good. Wow, is that good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Even more egg would be better. But you got to be careful. That's massive amounts of cholesterol in there. And the mayo, I wouldn't put any more mayo in. So this is my video on how to make uh, tuna salad. If you're a bachelor. Something like this. Three pounds of tuna. 10 eggs, mayo, relish. You could probably uh, eat this for dinner. Yeah, there might be enough for dinner. Maybe not, it's hard to say, but that's about four pounds. That's an average meal for a single guy. All right, thanks for watching my video. Remember, thumbs up and subscribe.